We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Colorado Rockies. Get ready for Rockies baseball next. Antonio Senzatella will be on the mound for the Rocks. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Boy, Senzatella has really made a name for himself. Another one of the strong arm, big arm guys that have come out of the Colorado Rockies minor league system. 94 to 96 miles an hour. Good sinking action. Love his slider. It's good. It's hard. It's a short, quick biting slider. His changeup has gotten better. His best quality, he's not afraid to attack the strike zone. Underway now on a Friday night as the first pitch of our series misses for ball one. Uh, boys we take a look at the Rockies starting play here tonight four and two over their last six games including a win last time out. Yeah Maddie, we had eyeballs on yesterday's game. They were able to win that one. They're playing really focused right now and if they execute like yesterday I don't see any reason why they don't win today's game. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Down low and the plot thickens here three and zero. Oh. on deck the powerful right handed bat of Paul Goldschmidt Aye. now a strike called in the upper part of the zone finally got one over nothing worse than starting the game with a four pitch walk the three one line drive to center field and that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases and he'll pull into second here with nobody out now that is the way you want to start a game on the road he comes out swinging and stands at second as the first base runner of the night now we'll see if his teammates can pick him up and if they can punch first. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one lifetime against this pitcher. He's got five base hits and 17 at bats. He also has one home run. Edmund leads off second with nobody out. Runs outside so it goes to two and oh now. Senzatella isn't really known as the kind of starter that goes deep into games. It's not that he isn't capable, I'm sure. He just hasn't been that guy that works deep into games with regularity. Matty V, I'm not sure it's this guy's fault, but I think it's more the fault of the metrics and the way we look at pitchers now, trying to limit the number of pitches and the number of appearances they have with particular guys in the lineup. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around them and put them on first, but not with the guy in the on deck circle. He's going to attack this hitter. The 3 0 is in there for strike one. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. Time for a look at the umpires working this one. Behind the plate is Daryl Parker. Well, D. Rowe, Daryl Parker behind the dish, and you never really know what you're going to get from this guy. Yeah, sometimes, and I'd hate to be mean and say he flips a coin back there because that's not the case. But as an offensive player, you have to find a consistent zone. You just can't. Murphy is over and he's got it for the first out of the inning. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Nolan Arenado. First appearance for him here with the leadoff man still at second and one gone now. From the stretch. One pitch on its way. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. 
any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. One out and a runner on second base. Now a swing, and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. Senzatella to take charge himself out there, and there's two down. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. Ready now, Yadier Molina. And he's seen his numbers on the rise here over the last five games or so. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Two out here and a runner at second. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Tread lightly in this situation. Got a great hitter at the plate. Runner in scoring position. Don't be afraid. You got the base open. Two balls and a strike to Molina. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitchers fall behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. Here's a fly ball well hit. Blackman going back to the track. But he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. To second now, but he's safe as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. I'm sure that that first run comes as a relief more than anything. They could only muster one run the entire previous game, so to notch that run early takes the pressure off a little bit. And with a man standing at second, they're hoping that's just the beginning. Riding into the box, Tyler O'Neill. He brings a hit streak that currently sits at six games entering play. First offering on its way. And it's fouled away. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. O'Neill has what you'd call elite speed. His legs are a big part of his game on both sides of the scorecard. This is one tool, Matty, I know nothing about. I used to get to first base, hand my batting gloves to the first base coach, give daps to the first baseman, and be like, yo, what's up? This guy gets on first base, and he's thinking about second and third. Here's the one-two. And it's two balls and two strikes now. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. The payoff pitch. Here's a swing and a little tapper in front of the mound. Throw won't get him at first. An infield single, and it's first and third now. Boy, after that base knock right there, D-Roll, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tough, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. A ball and no strikes. Tough situation early out on the mound, but if he can limit the damage right here, might build some confidence and get him rolling. Ready with the 1 0.
Runners on first and third, two away. A ball and two strikes. Ready with the one two. Good fastball there. Didn't get the swing, but the guy at the plate isn't someone who chases many bad pitches. Here's the two and two. High and deep to left center field. Looking up is the left fielder. Still going back into the bleachers and gone. So a three-run shot to left center. Sixth home run on the season for him. And with it, the Cardinals have increased their lead four to nothing. Love the homer in the top of the first inning. Give your pitcher a chance to kind of regroup and gather himself with an early lead. Here's Colton Wong now. The second break. As he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one. As a manager, when you see a guy struggling like this in the first thing, your mind starts racing trying to figure out about how long you're going to go with this guy and how many guys you might end up having to use out of your bullpen just to get through this thing. Not a good spot to be in. The 1 1. Ball two. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It's clearly not going his way, and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there, pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Line drive to center field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Great job there of cashing in on the three and one count to extend the inning. Boy, talk about a rough start to an inning. A three run bomb and then a base hit. This could get real ugly, Hero. Yeah, you can tell, Dan. He's going to have to execute a little bit better than that. They were sitting in that hitter's meeting and they were ready. They're keeping their front shoulders in, looking for something up, out, over, and they are not missing it. So that'll bring in Harrison Bader. Strike taken. The throw is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. It was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs, and I'm sure the defense knew it too, but he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag anyways. The 0-1 delivery. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's 1-1. One and one. He certainly has an open base down there, but you don't want your defender standing flat-footed for much longer. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. One and two, here it comes. Nope, that's the ball. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Has a look, now the pitch. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. But four runs score in the inning, three coming right here on the three-run home run. On to the bottom of the first. It's now 4-0 St. Louis. Number 62 gets the call for game one of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? 
Hey, we're getting a look at a real competitive pitcher here. Career ERA in the low threes, and that's not an easy thing to do in the day and age of small ballparks and guys swinging for the fences. Rock solid pitcher, does a lot of things well, and it'll be fun to watch him work in this one here today. Settling in now, Jason Dominguez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now here's the pitch. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. The second base number one. In now for Colorado, Garrett Hampson. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Pitch on the way. Yeah. All in one. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Bases are empty, one man out. Lays off that time, and it's one and two. Man, that's a good take there on that 0 2 fastball just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. Uh, just tried to freeze him with the fastball there. Pretty close. It's two and two. He started this guy backwards, a couple of off-speed pitches early, followed by back-to-back -back heaters. He can go either way he wants to go right now. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. One out, nobody on. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Charlie Blackman will be next. Now the payoff pitch home. Gets him looking up around the letters. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. Here's Charlie Blackman now. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. A ball and a strike. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. One and one, here it comes. One and two now, it just catches the outer half. Got a pitch to the ballpark's dimensions right here. Love the execution of that pitch down in the zone. Got to keep the ball in the yard. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Hit out towards second. Wong has it. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Rockies. They're on the short end of a four-nothing score. Next to bat for St. Louis, number 62. This will be his first trip to the plate in this one. Here's the pitch. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. But this will land untouched. The wind up and the 0 1. And another strike. Good fastball under the hands. It's 0-2. Well executed fastball right at the knees. Going to be a long day for this offense if he stays in that spot. A 
Another 0-2 coming. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. Into the box, Tommy Edmond. Fouled off. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Another one sent foul. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Yeah, that's the spot right there for an 0-2 pitch. Make him see if he'll chase that slider in the dirt, especially with the bases empty. Hit down the line at first, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Bases are empty, one man out. And look out as that one ran in and got him. And I'll tell you, this is the last guy in the lineup you want to put on base for free. He's probably feeling a little salty after getting drilled, and he's got speed to burn, so look for him to try and make something happen out there. So one gone in the inning here with the runner at first. And that'll bring up the big bat of Paul Goldschmidt. Now a throw over and the runner back safely. Here comes the first pitch. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. The 1 0. This is why I love having athleticism and speed on your team. You can tell the runner on first base is certainly messing with the mechanics of the pitcher. Throw over to the bag and a dive, but he's back in there. Runner at first here, one man out. Goldschmidt swings and hits this one very well out to deep left field. Hilliard is back to the warning track and he's able to put it away for the second out. Well, he hit that ball pretty well, but the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. Here's Nolan Arenado. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. From the belt, kicks and deals. Oh, that's off the plate. And that misses for ball one. One and zero delivery, and he won't bite at that one either. It's two and zero. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base, almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Get out of here, Cardinal. Ah, turned it loose on two and zero, but he popped it up over to the right side of the infield. Murphy will put this one away and the side is retired. One left for the Cardinals, but they're in front four to nothing.
Trevor Story steps in now and something to watch out for is whether or not he'll be able to extend his eight game hitting streak. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. And this is knocked down on the mound. And he's going to beat the offline throw to first as the first baseman couldn't get the foot back in time. Daniel Murphy steps in now. He was one for four with a two bagger in yesterday's game. Set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Murphy, a veteran at 35 years of age. This is the final year of his current deal, so he'll be a free agent at season's end. Yeah, Matty, it's going to be interesting to see where this guy lands at the end of this season. A lot of variables come into place. He's had a long career. It's going to be interesting to see if a team steps out past one or two years for this player. One one on its way to Murphy. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And they set up away with the fastball, but it misses. Three and one. He likely had ball four that time, but couldn't hold back on the swing, so that moves the count to three and two now. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was that's excellent good. because if it's put in play, there's a good chance it's on the ground for a double play. And, hey, a strikeout always works too. Here's Matt Carpenter as he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner. It's 0 and 1. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Now a throw over and he'll dive back in. A one pitch on its way. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Runners on first with one down. Throw over to the bag. A dive, but he's back. The one one. on that one and crushed it just pulled it a little foul he's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it throw over to first and he'll dive back in safely runner at first here one man out And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. That's back to back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single in the scoring position. He had clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control of this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Stepping in now, Sam Hilliard. 
as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. The set and the 1 0 pitch. This is flared out towards second. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Rockies strand one. They're down four nothing. Welcome back. Here's Heidi Watney with a report as we get set for the top of the third. Heidi. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cardinals to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've already put four runs on the board, and they've done so by running up their opponent's pitch count. So he said he thinks they're going to have a lot more opportunities to score because of that as the game goes on. All right. Thanks, Heidi. Here's the catcher Yadier Molina an RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. Well he got a good pitch to hit last time up looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once in a B maybe once a game maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Ball one to start the at bat. Now the 1 0 is looked at for the first strike. Two balls and a strike to the St. Louis leadoff hitter. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. This one's down to third. Taken in by Carpenter. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Up next to the Cardinals, the left fielder, Tyler O'Neill. Standing in, Tyler O'Neill. Here's the first pitch to him. And he takes ball one. We're only in the third inning, and his pitch count is above 60. That's not being too efficient with your pitches. Oh, too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. And this is why he's struggling right here. He's not able to pound the strike zone early in the count. These guys are finding themselves in serious oh, count leverage okay. situations. And good hitters aren't going to miss. Here it comes, the 3 0. And he looks at ball four now. So he's aboard, and you always have to worry about the threat of the steal when he's on base. And with the bases empty, you don't feel bad about walking that guy. He's capable of taking deep every time he digs in. So it's not the worst thing in the world to work around him if you can. So a runner at first with one man gone and that'll bring in the Illinois State product Paul DeYoung. Has a look now the pitch. Hey the way this guy on the mound's been struggling to find his own I'm not mad at the guy taking a pitch. One hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Runners on first with one down. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Hey, I get it. He wants to set up that breaking ball down and away, but that 0 2 fastball wasn't even close. Yanked the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. While his last time out, guys were just flailing away at that slider, but tonight, completely different story. 
I think their approach coming to the plate tonight was to lay off that pitch until he shows he can throw it for a strike. Here's the pitch on two and two. High and deep to left center field. Looking up is the center fielder at the track. The wall. This one's into the bleachers and gone. Paul DeYoung connects for a two run home run. His second home run of the game as they pile on. It's now six to nothing. Well he won his last start but he didn't give up any long balls. He's already given up two here so he's got his work cut out for him if he's going to get the W on this one. He's going to have to start keeping the ball in the yard for starters. Here comes manager Bud Black out of the dugout heading for the mound and it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. So as he leaves I would imagine these fans would not be much pleased with his performance here this evening as he certainly was not sharp. Pyro Diaz is going to come on to pitch here and in just the third inning you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Here's the second baseman Colton Wong as he'll lay off a slider too low ball one one for one after a single his first time up. The 1 0 home weak grounder down the first baseline and he'll take no chances here as he swipes this ball away it stays a foul ball. Still only one out in the inning. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Diaz, a Venezuelan born ball player, he throws a slider, a two seamer, and a four seamer. The one two lifted down the line and left. But this will land untouched. The one two hit to third throw to Murphy's in time and there are two gone now well executed two seamer on the outside corner that time and, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch he rolled right over it at the plate Harrison Bader he looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Strike one to start the at bat. Ready with the nothing and one pitch. One ball, one strike. Two out, nobody on. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Ball. To two balls and two strikes now. He doubled up on breaking balls there outside. Now might be the time to bust that fastball in. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Skied into straightaway right. Blackman is under it. And that ends the inning. But the cards do strike for two, both coming on this two run dinger. Bottom of the third coming up. It's the Cardinals six and the Rockies nothing. That'll bring up Tony Walters. He starts the inning, and Dan, they're down six in the early going, so what do they need to do to claw back into this thing? Well, first of all, man, I think they need to start to get some base runners. It's hard to be patient when you're down by six, but base runners are the key to getting back into this one. 
Yeah. And this is on the outside corner for strike one. Hey, with this big a lead, you have to just pound the zone and force this team to get aggressive in the box. And he pumps the fastball by him at 94. It's 0 and 2. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Striding in for the Rockies, Jairo Diaz. Here comes the first pitch. Fly ball out toward left center field. Bader calls off the left fielder as he takes charge for the second out. Up next for Colorado, the center fielder, Jason Dominguez. Digging in the switch hitter, Jason Dominguez, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1 0. Rocky center fielder looking at a 2 0 count now. Boy, you don't see that very often out of a rookie. That's a 2 0 count, and both of those pitches were really close. This guy has a pretty good eye. 3 and 0 now. Yeah, he's all over the place right now. No doubt he's clearly fighting his mechanics. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's three and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Grounder down the line at third. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Colorado. They won't make a dent in a six to nothing deficit. Into the box now, number 62. Oh for one for him here in this one. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. He takes the turn and heads for second. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. When you've got the pitcher leading off an inning, you have to feel pretty confident about getting the first out without much problems. But the pitcher with a bat in his hands had other ideas, put some solid wood on it, and found himself on second with the leadoff double. Standing in now, Tommy Edmond. As he'll take a look at ball one. Last time up, he was hit by a pitch. Slapped hard the opposite way. That's in there. Base hit. Around third and being waved on home. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. And he will beat the throw home. It's a 7 nothing contest. When you're up by seven runs any time in a game, let alone this early, it feels awfully good. They are hitting on all cylinders here, but they have to be careful not to let off the gas pedal now. to the at bat a check on first and a dive but he's back and that brings up Paul Goldschmidt as he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball one and oh oh for two from him so far in this one the 1 0 -oh home Hey, the bullpen needs to step up in this situation. I got to believe the manager was hoping for way more than this.
the 2 0. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. The 2 1 home is in there for strike number two. Nobody out runner on first. Now a throw over and the runner back. And a full count to Paul Goldschmidt. Three balls and two strikes. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Now the payoff pitch home. And no messing with Goldschmidt there as he'll take first on ball four. Well, when you go with a the slider there in a full count, you're Not hoping bad. that the hitter is thinking fastball and swings Goal through it. Didn't work oh, out no. that way, though. He lays off and gets the free pass. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. Two pop outs for him so far, so he'll look to stay through one here. First offering on its way. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Seven runs, eight hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. A lot of movement that time. It's 0 and 2. Man, as a pitcher, you have to love pitching 0 2. Multiple ways up, down, in, and out, throw the breaking ball. A lot of different ways to get guys out. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Line to the right side, and that's in there. Base hit. And no sense risking anything here as the bases will be loaded now with still nobody out. Nice piece of hitting right there. Looked like the guy on second had to respect it and freeze a little bit. He had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets down, but eventually does get the third base. Yanni Molina digging in now. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. He's one for two in this one. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. In there, one and two now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Base is loaded here, nobody out. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Tyler O'Neill waits on deck. Now the three and two pitch hit the other way out toward right field. After it is Blackman makes the catch but the runner from third breaks for home and the runner scores from third as they extend their lead throw to third but he's in there as also on the play a run comes across to score that was a good controlled swing out of him there and that's exactly what he was hoping to do get it into the outfield and pick up the RBI digging in Tyler O'Neill and their runners at the corners now here's the first pitch to him eight runs nine hits and no errors so far for the Redbirds line toward center field and a base hit and that'll get the run in from third the relay throw on to third but he's in safely as a run will score on the play as well pitcher Good went to the well one too many times back to back fastballs hitter was able to keep his hands through deliver a nice line drive So Paul DeYoung digs in next as he'll take a look at a pitch too low it's ball one and his confidence has to be in a really good place right now having already launched two balls over the fence in this one. The 1 0 hit in the air to center field catch is made runner tagging from third. Now the relay home and he will get in to score and it's a run batted in on the sacrifice fly. 
Usually when you score a lot of runs in one inning, like this inning, you're doing a lot of things right. And how about this? A sack fly to drive in another run. They have to be happy with this. Wade Davis gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Colton Wong will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. He's set. Here it comes. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Here's the 0 1. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Now the one and one pitch. Shoots this one over to first. A dive and he knocks it down. And they will still manage to get him at first. A spectacular all around play and the inning is over. So four runs on four hits. No errors in a runner left on. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Redbirds ten and the Rockies nothing. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that'll bring in Garrett Hampson. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Here's the pitch. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. 1 and 0. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Non competitive pitch right there runs the count to 2 0, and he is ready to do some damage in the box. Down low, and the plot thickens here 3 and 0. Ball three to a leadoff hitter that can run. Not the greatest way to start this right here. I think right now you really have to start pouring some pitches into that strike zone. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts at the bottom of the fourth. This is only their second base runner of the game after that earlier hit. Tough to score when you don't have anyone on base. So we'll see if they can get something going here. And that'll bring in Charlie Blackman. He's set and the pitch. No balls in one strike. A runner at first with no outs here. Fouled away. Blackman or Chuck Nasty as he's commonly referred to. He was taken in the second round during the 2008 draft. Yeah he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level but you know what they didn't miss with this pick either you go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has nice pick. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone three foul balls in a row he wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Here's a breaking ball but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. I don't know if that was a great take or he got fooled. He's certainly trying to play it off like he knew what was coming. You could bet he'd be on alert for that curveball again. Another 2 2 offering hit hard on the ground towards second. That's through for a base hit and he's one for two now. Hey, looks like they might have something brewing right here. That's back to back oh, base oh, runners oh, after a few oh, runs were oh, scored in the inning before, oh, too. Yeah, Dan, I have to imagine oh, your team throws up a crooked number. You want to go out there and throw a donut up. But they are putting some guys on base. This could get interesting. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop, Trevor Story. No balls and a strike to count. None out, runners at first and second. All right, Rocky, you got it. 
breaking pitch, and this Jump bounces 21. in front of the catcher. Oh, forget about this one. Bob Bob Bowie. Into the bleachers and gone. So a three run shot to left center. Fourth home run here in the early going. And they're now on the board, though still well behind. I know hindsight's 20 20, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. Here's Daniel Number Murphy now. Just gets a piece of it, strike one. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. The 0 1. High in the air into shallow left center. Coming in is O'Neill. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Now batting, the third baseman, Matt Carpenter. Stepping in, Matt Carpenter comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here comes the first pitch. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. And he takes a cold strike one. And he fouls this one off. Here we go, man. Here we go. That misses, and we're even at two and two. And it's fouled away. Three runs already home here. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip well, it down the line, but that two. wasn't a great pitch to do yeah. it on. It's really not the best two strike yeah. approach either. In now, Sam Hilliard. Fouled off. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Here it comes. And he strikes him out here so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. But the Rockies strike for three, all coming on this three-run home run. We're through four. It's the Redbirds ten and the Rockies three. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll bring up the former top prospect, Harrison Bader. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch on its way. One oh. The one and oh delivery. Fouled away.
two balls and a strike to the St. Louis leadoff hitter. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with a bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty, but hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Three and one. You do not want to walk the eight hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt him over to second with the nine hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. High in the air out to center field. Dominguez is there and he has it for the first out. The batter. Number Trying to pick things up where he left off. Number 62. One for two with a double on his line thus far. First pitch of the at bat. The cutter runs outside, ball one. The 1 0 delivery. Laid off, but a cold strike as that caught the outside. One out, nobody on. Cardinals pitcher up there with a one and two count. The one two is a curveball taken low for a ball. So you'd love for him to offer at that one but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. And he fouls this one off. The 2 2 one more time. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And he'll squeeze this one for the second out. Now batting the right fielder, Tommy Edmund. Stepping up to the plate, Tommy Edmond. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. First delivery to him on the way. And a fastball's off the plate away. It's ball one. Two out, nobody on. There's a fastball right down Broadway taken for a strike. This is on the ground over to first and that is through into right field for a single. Hey not a bad way to start the nightcap. Three at bats, three base hits, D. Rowe. Yeah, the pressure falls off you after you go one for one. Two for two, all smiles. Three for three, get the party started. So stepping in, Paul Goldschmidt. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a fastball a bit too low here. It's ball one. Outside with the cut fastball there and it's a two ball count. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. Line to the right side. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, after back to back two out hits right now, this pitcher thought he was going to cruise through this inning, and now he's got traffic, and he's in jeopardy with a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate, a crooked number going on the board. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. He's working on a one for three thus far. Let's go, 
1 0 count. Here it is. Two ball, no strike. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Got himself a 2 0 fastball there, but he couldn't connect 2 and 1. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. All even now, two and two. Two down, runners at first and second. A bouncer up the middle. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. Yeah, and with two outs, the pitcher was mentally in the dugout already. Now he's got to regroup and find a way to get out of this. Hard not to feel for the guy. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Yadier Molina. It was an RBI sack fly for him last time through. Yeah, super successful for that moment, but this is a completely different situation. And with no one standing on third, he's going to have to drill something into the outfield in order to get a ribby. Two out, bases loaded. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. The 1-1 one, one. to 1 and 2 now. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Blackman's after it. He's got it. And they get out of the jam unscathed. Three left for St. Louis. They still lead by seven. It's 10 to three. Digging in for his second at bat, Tony Walters. And Dan, I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind button on that last inning. Oh, no doubt about that, Mac. That was a really rocky frame, but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind him. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ball that down. And now the Cardinals get the bullpen working here. Both a lefty and a right hander have stood up. The 1 0. Rolled slowly down the first baseline, but a foul ball, 1 and 1. The pitch. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One guy. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take, and he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Fastball in there for a called strike. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. The wind up and the 0 1. Left side, but well foul. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Wong ranging into the outfield, but he won't get there. It falls in. 
Man, he's seeing it like a beach ball right now. Even his soft contact is finding holes there. He's making it nearly impossible for a pitcher right now. Up, down, in and out, hard, soft. Anything you throw forward to home plate, this guy seems to somehow be able to find a hole. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Jason Dominguez. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. First pitch coming, here it is. Hey, this is a left-handed hitter that can fly down the line. If they want to turn two, they're going to have to be almost perfect. Hit down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. For me, check swings are right there next now to bang-bang place at first as the most difficult calls for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. Line to the right side, but a foul ball. A runner on first with two away. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch. And he'll try to entice him with the change up here, but it dips below the knees. It's two and two. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. This one skied out toward right. Right fielder is on the run. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. One left for Colorado. They'll need to do better than that. It's 10 to 3. Brian Shaw gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Top half of the sixth about to get started. So striding forward now, Tyler O'Neill singled home a run in his last time up. First pitch of the at-bat. Here comes the 1 0. And he watches a called strike as this one bears in on him. 1 and 1. Shaw was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right hander. One and one count. Here's the pitch. Hit hard on the ground is short. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. The batter, the shortstop, Paul DeYoung. Paul DeYoung will stand in again as we flash you back to the early stages of this ball game. There were fans still finding their seats as he launched his second home run of the game as he was off to a fast start indeed. First delivery to him on the way. Action now in that Colorado pen as a southpaw has stood up to throw out there. Come on, Rocky. And this ball is heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now.
Nothing in two count and the pitch. Hops this one up. Carpenter in foul ground and no one will track it down. Drilled to first, gloved by Murphy, and he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. Now that second base, Colton Wong. Colton Wong will stand in. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. One and no pitch on the way. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will land untouched. The one one is strike two swinging one and two bases are empty here with two men out and the cutter got him swinging strike three and the side is retired one two three go the Cardinals they still lead by seven it's ten to three. Kim enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. For the Cardinal, number 33. Digging in and looking for more, Charlie Blackman. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Behind on that one. Now behind in the count 0 1. Here's the pitch. Hit softly on the ground to first. Right to him. And he'll step on first himself for the out. The bat, not shortstop, Trevor Story. So next it'll be the number four batter for the Rockies, Trevor Story. He's off to a fast start in this one, two for two, including a home run. Yeah, and his last that bat, he hit a changeup out for a home run. So it'll be interesting this A.B. to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. First delivery to him on the way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. Might have been one looking ball. to find that outside corner, but he couldn't quite get it there. It's one and two. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. Ready to deliver the one and two. And oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out the right there. Basement, got it to nine. bend a lot, and by the time it got Dead there, yellow. it had fallen completely Perfect. out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Into the box now, Daniel Murphy, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. No hits to this point. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Hey, he's got excellent stuff working right now. 
somebody has to make an adjustment. You're seeing a lot of late swings. No one's getting a front foot down. No one's getting a barrel to the baseball. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Two balls and two strikes to Murphy now. We got a full count. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. High in the air into shallow left center. DeYoung calls for it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the Rockies. They'll need to do better than that. It's 10 to 3. Riding in, Harrison Bader. He'll be tasked with starting things as we begin the seventh. Harrison Bader. First pitch of the at bat. Weak grounder down the line at third. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Nope. Takes That's a pitch ball. high and away for ball one. One and one. The one one. Doesn't catch the outside corner. It's a ball. Now the 2-1 takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Here now the 2-2. And it's fouled away. The 2-2 one more time. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what now they did that. right there. Big Double strikeout. Keep that guy off the base path. Dylan Carlson will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number eight, Dylan Carlson. And that's in there for strike one. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Comes set with the 0 and 1. And 1 and 1 as this one's in on the hands. Carlson comes in at 6 foot 3 inches tall and bats from both sides of the plate. This is his first year at the big league level. The 1 1 home. Chopper to short. Throw to Murphy's in time, and there are two gone now. The white view, number 19, Tommy Edmund. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Tommy Edmund. He's got three hits, including a double to this point. Here it comes. Ball one, no fight. Two out, nobody on. Hit sharply on the ground. 
Stroh gets him at first, and even the East German judge gives that one a score of 10 as the side is retired. Three thumbs up here in the booth following this gorgeous play at second base. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Dakota Hudson gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 43. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Matt Carpenter. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. I think he's forgotten about sometimes Matt Carpenter when we talk about best hitters in our sport. I think he's one of the more underrated offensive players. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Basic pitching right there. 0 2 fastball up and out of the zone. Change the eye level. Now, time to go to that curveball down and away. The 1 2. I got to count 2 and 2. Stays alive, still two and two. Four foul balls in this AB. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. The two two one more time. Mind to the right side. But well, this will be taken in at second base. Good positioning for the first out. The left fielder, number 22, Dan Hilliard. Now at the plate, Sam Hilliard. 0 for 2 for him to this point. First pitch on its way. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. One out, nobody on. Outside for a ball, one and one. Here it comes. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Three and one to the Rockies left fielder. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike and now he's got to count in his favor three and one. Sinker misses ball four. And that hole at bat, I feel like he really didn't want to challenge him. And I'm really surprised by that because I think this is a guy in the bottom third of the order you have to go right after. Digging in to try it again, Tony Walters. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and he was locked up by a good fastball for strike three last time. I'm interested to see if they attack him the same way. Come at him with hard velo late or snap something off in the dirt to see if he'll fish. Hey, now he's got me confused up here. This is a known sinker baller out on the mound trying to roll a double play, and he throws him a four-seamer. in there and he's in control 0 2 now surprised the pitcher would even go to the top of the zone looking for a double play in this situation got him and that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one it's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three times he's gone down on strikes in this one. So they've really figured out how to attack this guy. Josh Fuentes will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number eight, Josh Fuentes.
Here's a first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. And 2 0 now as this misses below the knees. And there's the first strike, two and one. Little chopper back to the mound. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Rocky strand one. They'll need to do better than that. It's 10 to three. Jake McGee comes on to pitch now hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Now in the box Paul Goldschmidt he'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. Here comes the first pitch. Rip down the line. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. McGee, a California born ball player. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. And think about it, in game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. One and one, here it is. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. This ball will be chopped foul. Here now the 2 2. Ripped on the ground to first. And a sliding effort there, but that ball had eyes and the leadoff man's on base to start the inning. Hey, sometimes you get lucky right there. Looked now like a 3 2 pitch out of the zone could have got on base via the walk, but he wanted a knock instead. So now to the plate, Nolan Arenado as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. -oh. Softly hit down to third, likely no shot at two. There's one. Return throw is in time. And what do you know? They do get the double play. And now the Cardinals number four hitter Yadier Molina is working on a one for three thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Dominguez is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Redbirds down quietly. They still lead by seven. It's 10 to three. Standing in, Jason Dominguez. And Dan, he and his fellow top of the order hitters haven't really offered much help for this lineup so far. No, your one, two, three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action. And they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. 
ball. He'll start him with a fastball down and in for a ball, 1 and 0. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. The 2 0. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Now this is a leadoff at bat. Great patience, and he's just waiting for that pitch. That's too good to pass up. He pulls this one into right. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. And he will make it there as the Rockies are in business right away. It's a leadoff double. This game might be over for all Number intents four. and purposes, but somebody forgot to tell this guy. He's a grinder, and he's going to approach every at bat like it's his last. Does it again here and delivers a double into the gap. To the plate now, Garrett Hampson, as he'll go after a hard sinker that time and falls behind nothing in one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Gets a good piece of it there, but this is foul off toward the third base coaching box. The 0 2 pitch. Now, pitch runs in on him here, and all he can do is flare one foul off to the right side. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. I like that he tried to tie him up inside on that pitch, but it was a little bit of a risky situation because if you're off just a little bit, you can end up plunking a guy. That's the last thing you want to do when you've got a guy 0-2. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Here now the 2-2. And did he hold up in time? A look down, and no, he went around. It's strike three. No right Ready for no another right shot right now. Team. Charlie Blackman. Charlie. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Great job by the pitcher right there, changing eye levels. We all know he's a sinker ball pitcher, but if he could throw some four seamers up in the zone like that, it could work for him. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Runner at second here with one man out. On the ground near home. Throw on to first, two gone. Now batting. The shortstop, Trevor Dory. So here's the cleanup hitter, Trevor Story, runner in scoring position with Sugan. First pitch on its way. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Story hits a little over the 270 mark. The 1 0 home. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. The 2 0. 
three and oh now. Daniel Murphy would be next. The three oh pitch. Down is three to one. Men on third with two down. Lifted in the air to right field. Right fielder is on the run. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. One left for Colorado. They'll need to do better than that. It's 10 to 3. Set to start the ninth in this one. Ready for another chance. Tyler O'Neill. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. One and oh, the count. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. The 1-1 one -one is looked at for ball number two. Two balls, one strike. High in the air out to center field. Dominguez is right there, one down. The batter, number 11, shortstop, Paul DeYoung. Striding in once again, Paul DeYoung. He's two for three and looking for more here. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Grounded back up the middle. Story picks it up. In time to first, and there are two away. Now back, second base. Colton Wong. Digging in now, Colton Wong. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Here's the first pitch to him. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. A ball and a strike now. Now the one and one pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. Made him look silly with that one. The one two. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. Hit back up the middle. Scooped up. And he's safe. So frustrating, Dero. You make a good pitch and you get these guys that can run around and they're fast. You think you have an out, all of a sudden it turns into an infield single. Yeah, this is definitely part of his game, the ground attack, Dan. He's a speedster. He's going to get a ton of infield singles, and he knows how frustrated that pitcher is. Into the box, Harrison Bader. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Right. 
swing and there it goes deep to left no chance at bringing this one back over the bleachers and onto the concourse a home run. It's a two run shot to straight away left first home run of the campaign for him as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. Guys we've seen four big balls between the two teams so far today. What are your impressions of the long ball display we're watching. Yeah Matty V you don't see this very often D where when it's cold and chilly like this wind blowing in a little bit but we're still seeing a lot of home runs. Yeah Dan I can't explain it. Let's just tip our hats to both offenses now right now because they came Number to play three. moving traffic against this cold weather not easy to do down the first baseline. And that's in there as well. 0 oh, and 2 now. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D. Roll, but boy, when the weather starts. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. So it's two runs here on two hits, with one of them being the home run. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Cardinals 12 and the Rockies 3. Giovanni Gallegos enters the game from the pen. And because this is a non-save situation, it's evident that they're just trying to get him some work after having not thrown in several days. Yeah, and this is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now, so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the chance to pitch in a real game situation here. First pitch on its way in there strike one Gallegos the native of Mexico he's in his fourth season as a major league player the 0 and 1 delivery fouled off Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed then he's laid on the fastball he could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. A pause and the 0 2 grounded to short. De Young fields it cleanly and there's one away. The third baseman number 13 Matt Carpenter. Digging in now will be Matt Carpenter. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. He's ready. Here's the first offering. In there for strike 1, 0 and 1. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0 and 2 now. You got to cover the whole plate now after letting him steal two strikes on the inside half. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. This is what a power pitcher will do to you if he executes his pitches. That was a three pitch strikeout. And with the kind of stuff that he has, it's not uncommon for him to absolutely dominate certain guys. Standing in now, Sam Hilliard. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at a first pitch fastball for strike one. No hits to this point. The 0 1. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike.
the one one is laid off for ball two. Fouled away. Come on. Last strike now for Colorado. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two out base runner. That is just a great at bat there. When you're down late, you need base runners any way you can get them, and that never say die mentality could be the difference. We'll see how it plays out. Stepping up now, Tony Walters, man at first after the two out walk. From the belt, kicks and deals, and he fouls this one off. And this ball swung on and hit to center field. And this should do it. And he'll make the catch here to end it. And the Cardinals have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. On paper, this had the makings of a real hard-fought game. But uh, paper and reality, those are two different things. They pulled away and never looked back. How about to a tune of a nine-run victory? 12-3 to three is the way this one ends. The Cardinals jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Number 62 gets the win on the mound his first of the year. Antonio Senzatella struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Time of the ball game, three hours and 57 minutes. Thank you for joining.